Greetings, Earthlings. I'm Alan Boyle, Aerospace and Science Editor for GeekWire, and we're here at Kennedy Space Center in Florida to cover the first launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket, SpaceX's largest rocket. It's going to be the largest operational rocket in the world if and when it takes off, and it's a big deal for SpaceX and a big deal for space flight. This is a risky endeavor for SpaceX. It's the first time that they've put together three separate cores of their workhorse Falcon 9 rocket into a single rocket. A lot can go wrong. Uh, Elon Musk has said he'd be a very happy man if this just cleared the tower and did not blow the launch pad to smithereens. The Falcon Heavy's payload is what Elon Musk has called the silliest payload he could think of, his red Tesla Roadster. And to make it even sillier, they put a mannequin in the driver's seat wearing a SpaceX astronaut's uniform. If everything goes right, this sports car, the first sports car in space, will be orbiting between Earth and Mars for hundreds and millions of years. If this is successful, the Falcon Heavy can be used to put large payloads into high Earth orbits. It could directly send satellites into what's known as a geosynchronous orbit, 22,000 miles above the Earth. Usually you have to do that in a couple of steps. If the Falcon Heavy works, you can do this in one step, and that would be very attractive for national security applications and for people who just want to put big satellites in faraway places. Eventually it could be used to send payloads to the moon and to Mars, but uh, SpaceX is thinking about building an even bigger rocket called the BFR to do that. So Falcon Heavy first and then the BFR. This is the first of many Falcon Heavy launches, so it's not the climax of the adventure, it's just the beginning, and we'll be looking forward to future chapters to come. For GeekWire, I'm Alan Boyle telling you to watch the skies.